This is an excerpt from um, Twain's Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. <clears throat> Training. Training is everything. Training is all there is to a person. We speak of nature. It is folly. There is no such thing as nature. What we call by that misleading name is merely hereditary and training. We have no thoughts of our own, no opinions of our own. They are transmitted to us, trained into us. All that is original in us, and therefore fairly credible or discreditable to us, can be covered up and hidden by the point of a cambric needle. All the rest being atoms contributed by and inherited from a procession of ancestors that stretches back a billion years to the Adam clan or grasshopper clan or monkey from whom our race has been so tediously and ostentatiously and unprofitably developed. And as for me, all that I think about is this plotting sad pilgrimage, this pathetic drift between the eternities, is to look out and humbly live a pure and high and blameless life, and save that one microscopic atom in me that is truly me. The rest may land in shield and welcome for all I care. Now a couple things I want to talk about. First, we when you know sometimes when we think about Clemens or Mark Twain, um, we sometimes think about the humorous levels, and you know to extent that's true. And you know in this book there are humorous elements, but in this one especially there are, as we see, darker elements. You know, and part of this is you know he's writing this when he's deep in debt because of his various investments. Um, so, you know, when we, you know, I notice when there, this story is reproduced or bastardized in various movies and whatnot, we kind of forget the darker elements of, you know, Twain's book. And the other thing is that, um, this element of, you know, people, result of training, you know, I think that's very true as it was then, as it is now, you know, that we live by these social orders that have been trained into us and we respond to that training and you know we're a result of training you know rather than being our own true selves you know and for me I would rather you know not respond to the training I would rather not respond to the social orders you know I would rather as he says hold on to the atom that is truly me and hold on to that and the rest can you know go so that's, you know, all I wanted to talk about for right now.